welcome to Nerd Studio. This is my 1911. It is a Kimber Stainless Custom 2. Um, and you know, I could sit here and make a video about 1911s and uh, break it down and talk about the parts and all of that. Um, but I'm probably out of the, oh, billions of people who've made 1911 videos on YouTube. I'm probably the, the, the least qualified to do a video on it. So what I wanted to say was, why did I buy a 1911? So as you guys know, I'm not a, a firearms expert. I'm not a, a lifelong gun guy. It's something I picked up uh, later in life. And as I started to study the sport and study the, the um, modern firearm market, uh, I got to looking at the 1911 and said, man, I've got to have one of those. I fired one in the military and uh, it was uh, memorable. It's something I will always take with me. There's a there's something about the feel of a 1911 that's just very different. And so um, as I started getting back into this uh, in my later years, I decided I had to have a 1911. And when it came to buying a 1911, I wanted a nice one. Um, I didn't just, you know, want your base model. I wanted something that was, uh, a gun I would have my entire life. From the externals, you can see it's a it's a Kimber. Uh, it's had a bunch of um, upgrades done to it by uh, Wilson Combat. Uh, it came with you know six magazines and all of that good stuff. But you know I'm not going to really sit here and and try and tell you about a 1911. There's plenty of videos out there, and if you know go watch uh, you know Hickok 45 or or. You know, one of the guys that can break one of these down in, in 10 seconds and tell you all the internal parts. Um, I'm not a firearms expert. What I can tell you is this is a heck of a lot of fun to shoot. And it's incredibly accurate. You put it in the hands of most people and they're going to shoot it well because the trigger is amazing and the gun is heavy. It absorbs the recoil really well. Even for 45 ACP, it's, it's very easy to shoot. This is a well-made firearm, incredibly well-made firearm. Incredibly is really an overused word, but it really does apply here. Um, but the real reason I bought it was to have the connection to the to the roots of the pistol. I mean, really, if you take the the modern pistol back, it it all kind of goes back to John Browning's design, and and this is it. Um, you know, they've they've bobbed some things and and put some better ergonomics into it, and you know the sights are different, but in the end, the action, how this thing works, it is John Browning's design. And to feel that connection, to be able to pick that up as an object and feel that connection back to um, John Browning is, uh, it just connects me to the, to the firearm in a way that it's kind of hard to explain. And so when I set out really to say I was going to start buying guns and and really get into it as a hobby and a sport. I said, I gotta have a 1911, and um, this is the one I chose. Let me talk about a couple of things this gun is not. It's not easy to break down. Um, it has more parts. Uh, they, it came with this uh, Wilson Combat breakdown tool, which makes it a little easier. Um, it, 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 so it's a little tougher to maintain. It is not easy to carry. Um, it's heavy. Um, it's not black. Um, anyway, no, really, it, it isn't a gun that, um, you know, if, you, if you're looking for the ultimate uh, packing around paranoia defense weapon, this isn't it. Um, what it is, is a, is a deep connection to history in a modern way. And there's few things out there in your life that you're going to get to own or uh, operate that is this old is this old a design yet um, still uh, is functional in a really modern way, um, and this is one of them. So, um, you know, if you're like me, and 
you're into this for uh, as a sport, as as a hobby, um, as something to do to get you away from your keyboard, and uh, something that's slightly dangerous and requires you to put on your responsibility hat, but uh, is a heck of a lot of fun, then you can't go wrong with the 1911. There's lots of them out there, um, and this is mine. Uh, that's my video. Click subscribe if you want to see more of them, and uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks.